CardPoint is a processing and reporting platform, and in this video, I'm going to cover the details of the reporting tab. Once you're logged in, just click on the reporting tab, and the default transaction sub-tab will load. You'll notice that there's four other sub-tab options, gateway batches, funding, chargebacks, and statements. And we'll start with the transactions sub-tab. This is where you can customize the layout of the page to show the information that you would like to see. The search criteria includes location, date, method, status, front end, and columns, in addition to the ability to saving your searches. The columns tab gives you the ability to select the fields that you want your search columns to show. The options among many include showing the last four digits of the credit card, name of the card holder, transaction, authorization code, and even whether the transaction is part of a billing plan. You can see that there are about 25 options showing here, including any custom user fields that you have added to your virtual terminal fields. If you haven't added custom fields yet to your virtual terminal, click the link in the description to watch the video on customizing the CardPoint virtual terminal fields. Once you've selected the information that you want to see, you can begin your search and you can always come back to this column in the middle of a search and update the columns in real time. The location tab is where you can select the merchant ID number if you have more than one active merchant account. By default, it searches all available merchant IDs that are connected within CardPoint. So so in other words, if you have more than one store or multiple businesses, you can link them within CardPoint and they'll all show up in your reporting tab. The date tab allows search based on quick selection of floating dates or a specific date range that you can toggle back and forth between. As you click, the reporting automatically loads the date search. So if you click between 30 days or 90 days, for example, the screen auto loads the transactions processed within those timeframes. The method tab allows search for transactions that fall under the classification of sales, refund, force credit, or verify. The status tab gives you additional transaction status search fields, including refunded, voided, or declined transactions. Keep in mind that at any point, if your search is not returning any results and you feel like it should be, or you can't find a transaction that you're certain took place, double check the other search criteria that you have selected, such as the date range, and make sure that you're including the parameters that will include your transaction in question. Because if you're searching for transactions that happened 30 days ago and you have the last seven days box checked, it's not going to return the correct search criteria. Remember, this search updates in real time, so you can simply check or uncheck any option within a particular column. The front end tab allows you to select the device or method that the transaction was processed through. So if you know that all the transactions were processed through a card point device or through the API, for example, you can select the appropriate box and it will load the results. The saved reports tab will give you the ability to save your favorite searches for quick reference. To create a new saved search, just start by clicking on the new report button and selecting the fields that you want within your report. Then come back and click on the save option and name your report and choose whether you want this report to be saved only to your user account or for it to be made available to other users within your card point account. The name of the saved search shows right here and if you ever need to recall call what the search criteria is within a saved search, just click on the show filters link and it will toggle down to show the criteria that's being searched. The statements tab is an archive of the monthly statements that are sent to you showing all volume and charges for the month. You can search for and download statements as you see fit and if you want to download a specific statement, just click on the statement date which is a link and it'll export to PDF. The chargebacks tab is simply a place where chargeback disputes will be listed per transaction Action, along with information and contact procedures to resolve the disputes. All of this, of course, if applicable. The funding tab is all closed and settled batch totals. If you click on the funding date, which is a link, it will open up the details of that batch and you can see all of the transactions within that batch. It's simply a running total of batch deposits. The gateway batches tab gives you a running total of batches sent and also gives you a search box. One final note about search is that you can download and export the data that you search for. So if you ever need to send it to a bookkeeper or upload it to an accounting software, you can do so very easily. There's a download button that's listed on each of the report menu sub tabs. And when you click on that download button, it generates an Excel spreadsheet that looks like this. The data shown, of course, will depend on the data that you have chosen to export within the search fields that we just discussed. For more card point tutorials, merchant account training, 
savings and payment page tutorials, be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll receive notifications when future videos are posted. Share this video with your friends. Comment below if you have questions. I'm Brian Manning and thanks for watching.